everyone, Jason here. Today I'm gonna to create a cast of my hands using the ingredients from the Luna Bean Keepsake Hands Plaster Statue Kit. What is provided in the Luna Bean Kit here is you're gonna have the alginate compound, which is gonna create the mold of the hands in very, very fine detail. And then afterwards, they provide a plaster that we're going to use to fill the mold and create um, the plaster form of our hands, the cast there, that will look similar to something like these that I have on the side. So I'm gonna use with this kit is I'm gonna to try to create um, essentially a little heart of my hands and put it in the kit right here. Um, it does not take too long for the alginate to solidify, so you do wanna mix it and put your hands in quick before it solidifies, otherwise you, know, you could waste an entire kit. So we'll get started there in here in just a second. Um, first, we're going to have all the ingredients out and everything ready to go, knowing that it doesn't take too long for it to solidify. So we have eight cups of water measured out in a container right here that I provided on my own that did not come in the kit. Obviously, you could use any container that you would want. Um, I also have a blender just for ease of mixing the alginate in the container that I'm going to pour into this. And then I'm going to wait for that to solidify. I'm going to remove my hands. Um, and then afterwards going to fill it with the plaster which will also be mixed with a lesser quantity of water. All right, so we're gonna start with the water. Now with the water, there are some things to keep in mind. Um, first, you do want a pretty accurate measurement of the water in there. So like I said, it does come uh, that you do want to have eight cups in a container ready to go. Um, now with the water, uh, generally you're not gonna want tap water. It's better to have purified water or uh, distilled water as it won't have any minerals or anything like that in the water that could mess up the mold in any way, giving you finer detail uh, in the end result of your mold, therefore the cast coming out of it. I have some uh, distilled water here and it is at room temperature. The colder the water is, the longer it will take to solidify. So water at room temperature will take about three to four minutes to fully solidify around your hands, which is a decent working time, but do keep that in mind that once it is blended and ready to go, it's only gonna last three minutes. So you insert your hands, keep them there, and right after you found that, you know, maybe four minutes have passed, you can remove your hands and it should keep a perfect form of even the detail down to the fingerprints of your hand on the cast that'll eventually come out. So we're gonna pour the water straight into the container here which is eight cups. Now this is the container that we're gonna be using to actually insert my hands once the alginate is mixed. So we're gonna pour in the alginate next using the blender and we're gonna blend it really quick. Um, starting off, it does kinda have a white tint to it, but once it is fully mixed, it's gonna turn from about a pinkish to a purple color um, or have the pink you know, color at the end of it once it is fully mixed. Um, so I'll have one color detail, knowing that you do have all of the water and everything mixed together with the alginate compound. So I'm gonna do that really quick and we'll come back to the video and insert the hands and get going from there. All right, so now that the uh, alginate is mixed, you can see that it does have that pink to purple tint. Um, it's starting to solidify already, so I'm gonna wanna wet my hands, rub them together a little bit, shake off the excess water. This is gonna allow them to come out easily. And then I'm gonna insert it in the fashion that I want. And it'll overflow a little bit, which is all right. And I'm gonna to wanna to position myself in the way that I'm gonna want the mold to come out. Okay, so now that about five minutes has passed, um, it has solidified, as you can see. I'm gonna wiggle around a little bit to kind of let the, uh, the mold release from my hands. And then I'm just gonna slowly come out. There we go. And you can see the detail down there. So I'll wait a few minutes and then we will fill it up with a mixture of uh, the other casting stone, which is about 2.5 pounds and that will easily fill uh, both hand segments here. All right, so I created the mold with the alginate here and next I measured out three cups of cold water um, that I'm going to mix the casting stone, the plaster with. 
Uh, what we're shooting for is like a paint-like um, thickness to this so we can pour it right in. Uh, if it doesn't, if it's kind of chunky or kind of tough, keep stirring it, add a little bit more water um, at a time to try to get to that paint-like thickness uh, that you know is pourable into the mold. It'll take a little bit to set in. Uh, you can leave it for a little while and then afterwards we're just going to pull the entire thing out, peel apart the alginate, and there you'll have your cast. Okay, so now that I've mixed it into a paint-like thickness, um, and I would use a container that you probably are okay with throwing away as this stuff does stick very, very uh, hard to the container that you'll be using. Um, we're gonna pull it right into the mold. Also, again, put something underneath it, whether it be newspaper or whatever, um, as whatever you spill will, again, be very hard to clean up. So we're just gonna pour this right in. Okay, so approximately about four hours and 30 minutes has passed since this mold was poured. Um, I'm gonna flip it over and remove the cast from the mold by just peeling the alginate from it uh, and using a little bit of small tweezers as well to get these smaller portions of the alginate out from in between the fingers if any are there. So we're gonna flip it over really quick and start doing that. So after all the alginate was removed, there's the end product. You can see the fine detail, um, the veins in the hand, the creases of the knuckles, fingernails, everything. Um, comes out very, very well in alginate um, from the cast mold with the plaster being used at the end there. Um, it does take a while to get it out of all the creases and everything like that. Um, but overall, came out pretty well. Uh...